Wolfenstein Youngblood does not come with a physical cart when you buy the physical version. This is according to a listing on both GameStop and Amazon. So essentially, you know, places that list a bunch of details about what you get when you pre-order the game are basically telling you you get the box and included in the box is a digital download code. This, to me, is a basically unacceptable practice. And no, it's not the first Switch game to do it, nor will it be the last Switch game to do it, but it doesn't make it any more acceptable. If you buy a physical version of a game, you should get the physical version of the game. If I just want box art, they could offer that online and download it, and I could go buy a separate case for a few extra bucks, right? I don't need to spend $30 just to have a case. I get it. You're getting the digital copy of the game, but then I'll just buy it off the eShop and preload it and not have to worry about going to a store to get it in the first place. Now, obviously, Wolfenstein Youngblood isn't exactly a new game in the traditional sense, right? It's more like the Luigi U DLC for Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. However, or I should say the new Super Mario Bros. U, the Deluxe version on, on Switch comes with it. But uh, it's, it's a little more than that because it's a new story, new gameplay, all this stuff. But it's basically built on the engine of the new Colossus and takes place in that world. So obviously it's not being treated as a brand new AAA game. It's treated as kind of like a side edition, basically a giant DLC for that game that is so good that it can stand on its own without needing to own the prior game. And I think that's a brilliant thing. I'm glad that it's only 30 bucks, but no physical, not even like a little eight gigabyte cart, right? Like they've done this in the past. You give like the little eight gigabyte cart out and then you make the rest downloadable. I mean, they did it with Doom. They did it with Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. They can't do it with this. Like they got to cheap out so bad. You know why it's happening though? This is, is, is the real reason it's happening. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus clearly did not sell that well on Nintendo Switch. And if it wasn't for the fact that they were already committed to the next Wolfenstein game coming to Switch, I'm not sure that we would have got Wolfenstein Youngblood. The deal is, the reason that they are not going to do physical carts, the reason that they're never going to state publicly, is because the old game didn't sell well enough, at least physically, to justify them ordering Nintendo's expensive carts to put the game on. Basically, they don't think they're going to sell enough of the physical copy for it to matter anyways. So why put in the effort? And I obviously, from a personal level, think that's bad. Then just don't have a physical version. Only release it digitally. But I, I don't like this practice, okay? We've already seen this happen with like Resident Evil uh, Revelations when they had 1 and 2 come out. Like 2 ended up being downloadable. Or was 1 or 2. One of the versions were only downloadable. You only got the physical cart for one of them. If for some reason, they could just put a bigger physical cart and have both games. I... I get that cartridge prices on Switch are a problem, right? They've been a problem since the Switch came out, and there's been a lot of indie developers that have shed light on this problem. That's why some, several indie games are $10 more expensive physically than they are digitally. But I I mean, heck, at least in the at least in the deluxe version, right? There's a deluxe version of this you can buy. That's $10 more expensive. They could have put the cart, but they didn't do it. So I am disappointed. I don't know that it's going to prevent me from buying the game because obviously to solve the issue, you have to buy the game. If the games are selling well in the first place, we won't even need to worry about this. And no, before anyone says it, I don't think we need to worry about Doom Eternal. Something tells me that Doom 2016 sold way better on Switch than Wolfenstein the New Colossus did. Now to remember, Wolfenstein the New Colossus didn't perform well on pretty much any platform it released on. It massively undersold expectations on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So that franchise itself isn't really sitting at the most healthiest, whereas Doom 2016 blew up on everything, including Switch. So I do think Doom Eternal, um, they think that there's going to be a bigger audience for that. So we will get a physical version. I hope so. We are getting a physical version that has a cart with, you know, things like Mortal Kombat 11 this month. So again, this isn't something that's happening across the board, but I know the future of video games seems to be all digital. The future of video games seems to be game streaming. But as long as physical versions of games are being sold at stores, they need to include the physical media. Otherwise, what the hell is the point? I'll download the box art online and find a, an extra switch case somewhere for a few pennies anyways you guys let me know how bothered you are by this practice because i don't find it acceptable i don't know that i'm going to not buy the game because that's not going to 
do anything except lead to us not getting any more Wolfenstein games. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. I think it's a crappy practice and shouldn't be happening in the video game industry. But it does happen. It's been happening. And this just draws more light to it because this is a game I'm actually interested in buying. And it really bothers me that there is no physical cart in a physical copy of Wolfenstein Youngblood. Anyways... I'm Nintendo Robo Dance from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway through the Gleam Island down in the description. Drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get it to 150 likes. I want to thank you for tuning in. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.